Now, one of the most frustrating and annoying things that can happen to you as an iPhone user is finding out that your storage is full. It doesn't matter if the storage on your iPhone is 1TB or 64GB, I'm very sure if you go to your settings right now and check through your storage, there's a high chance that system data is taking up a huge chunk of your storage space. And the worst part is that it doesn't matter how many pictures or videos you delete from your iPhone, system data is still going to be there. On my iPhone, system data is taking about 8GB of my storage space, but I've seen some situations where system data is taking about 50 gig of people's storage space. How ridiculous is that? In this video, I'm going to show you 6 things you can do right now to free up some of the space being consumed by system data on your iPhone. Now, one of the things you can actually do to get rid of system data on your iPhone is to delete your iMessage history. I know a lot of us love keeping messages on our iPhone, but the truth of the matter is, the older your phone gets, the more the system data on that iPhone. So if you've been using your iPhone for like the past three, four, five years, I honestly do not think you really need to leave all those messages on your iPhone. Except of course, if there are some important attachments or files in those iMessages. So to actually get rid of all these old iMessages, all you have to do is go to your settings, scroll down, click on apps, and then click on messages, and then look for where it says keep messages, and then change it from forever to 30 days or to one year. But before you do this, make sure you go through your messages and ensure that you don't have any important message or any important attachment in those messages before doing this. I've currently set mine to 30 days, and this is going to get rid of any message that is 30 days old on my iPhone. Now, another thing you can do to get rid of some of this system data on your iPhone is to get rid of saved voices. And you might be wondering, what exactly is saved voices? Now, I'm very sure when you got your iPhone and you were trying to set Siri up, you actually tried to listen to some of the voices there to actually decide which one you want. But did you know that all those voices actually get saved to your iPhone and over time, this actually accumulates and sums up to what we call system data on your iPhone? Let me show you how to get rid of it. All you have to do is click on settings, go to accessibility, then click on spoken content, then click on voices, and then click on English. Now, first of all, you can see that all these languages actually have voices downloaded in them. And just in case you only understand English, you can decide to delete all these other voices. But let's click on English and click on voice. You can see that right now I had Daniel enhanced about 155 megabytes. And on some people's iPhone, they can actually have multiple of all, the, all these voices downloaded. So if you check through your phone and you find out that you have some of all these voices downloaded, just go ahead and delete them. Now, the next thing you can do to actually free up some of your space is to delete significant locations. Now, if you are someone that uses Google Maps or Apple Maps a lot, then your phone actually saves some information about the places you've been to. And over time, this can actually accumulate and take up space on your iPhone. Here's how you can get rid of it. Head over to settings, click on privacy and security, click on location services, click on system services, and then click on significant locations. As you can see, I have a bunch of significant locations on my iPhone and then just delete them. And in case you are wondering if this is going to affect your iPhone or your maps in any way, no, it's not going to affect. Just go ahead and delete it. Another thing you can do to delete some of the system data on your iPhone is to delete the catch files from different apps on your iPhone. Now, it's so unfortunate that most of the apps on the iPhone do not have a dedicated option or a dedicated feature to free up or clear app data, but there's actually something you can do to get rid of some of those catch from the apps on your iPhone. Now, all you have to do is go to your settings, click on general, click on iPhone storage, and then go through the list of apps that you have there. And in case you find any app that is actually consuming too much storage space, all you can do is uninstall that app and then install it back. Now this is going to get rid of any catch file that has been stored on your iPhone. And please be careful while doing this because after uninstalling and installing the app back, you might have to log in back into that app. So just make sure that any important information or any important data is saved somewhere before you actually uninstall that app. There's another thing you can do to free up some of your storage space. If you are someone that uses like a 12 Pro, 13 Pro and above and your phone records in ProRes, this tip is actually going to help you. All you have to do is go to your camera, switch to video, and then click on ProRes right now. You can see it's showing frame resources, and this is actually going to delete some of those things that are taking up 
your storage space. Now, the last thing you can actually do to delete system data on your iPhone is to actually force restart your iPhone. And I'm actually giving you guys this bonus tip just in case you have any issue with your iPhone. Maybe there are some bugs on your iPhone. One of the first things you should actually consider doing is restarting your iPhone or first restarting your iPhone. And to first restart your iPhone, all you have to do is click on the volume up button then the volume down button then hold the power button down hold it down until you see the apple logo and when you hold it down don't click on this don't slide to unlock just hold the power button down until you see the apple logo and once that is done you have successfully done a hard restart on your iphone and this should actually help to clear up some of those catch files on your iphone i'm sure by now the amount of storage space being consumed by system data on your iphone has reduced drastically and just in case you are wondering if your iphone can be infected by a virus i have a video right here that answers that question so see you over there cheers